Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Hailstorm at Colorado Amphitheater claims nearly 100 injured ahead of scheduled Louis Tomlinson concert CNN. Nearly 100 people attending a concert at Red Rocks Amphitheater near Denver on Wednesday night were injured after being pelted by large hail during severe storms that swept the area, a fire department said. At least seven people were taken to hospitals with non-life-threatening injuries. Injuries are at risk, the West Metro Fire Department said in a tweet. Up to 90 people were treated at the scene, the department said. Injuries included lacerations and broken bones. It said. Bella Oliveira said she was nearly trampled, as she and others ran from the falling hail. I managed to hide where drinks were sold, and I used my backpack to get me and another girl, she said, adding that she injured her head and shoulder in the incident. The National Weather Service's office in Boulder first issued a severe thunderstorm warning around 9.04 p.m. Wednesday, including the amphitheater. Earlier in the day, the Boulder Weather Service office warned. We are still in a situation of tremendous instability with loaded guns that could result in severe weather throughout the evening. The Storm Prediction Center warned of Level 2 of 5 low-risk weather for Red Rocks and Level 3 of 5 high-risk for the nearby Denver area. According to the weather forecast, the area could experience damaging winds, large hail and tornadoes throughout the afternoon into the night hours. Six tornadoes were also reported across Colorado on Wednesday night. Musician Louis Tomlinson was scheduled to play at the Red Rocks concert. I am devastated by tonight's show. Hope everyone is okay. I'll be back. The former One Direction star tweeted. The performance was postponed twice due to weather conditions. The venue urged fans to take shelter in their cars before giving the all clear, which brought fans back to the venue, only to eventually postpone the show and tell fans to go home. CNN has reached out to the city and county of Denver, which owns and operates Red Rocks Amphitheater, for comment. It was.